There we go. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? This is take two. I just spent 10 minutes rambling and my phone decided to turn off and not record. Oh, I pressed it. But, you know, it is what it is. It must have been a good recording. So let's see if I can repeat that. Mm, it was a good one too. I hate that. It doesn't happen. It rarely happens. I'm no reader. I've had readers that do that. They get pissed because they, they do a whole reading for somebody. And it's amazing, and yet their camera isn't recording. So <clears throat> I'm going to talk about money. Talk about the coin. And I wasn't sure why I was gonna, wasn't accepting offers from people on helping me. And now I'm. I know exactly why. I'm not. I'm not accepting any offers of any donations or any kind of help monetarily from anyone um, except if you want to buy one of my paintings which you might have to do it in person <laughs> but anyway I've, I've made the mistake of shipping off paintings to people and not getting paid in return put it that way so I'm not really big on shipping paintings to people my trust level is about here with human beings not that I don't love human beings that's what I'm here for that's another reason I'm going to talk about money when I started my channel, it was simply for me. It was all about just, you know, trying to survive in my solitude. And, you know, there'd be moments when I could talk to myself and um, maybe this is therapeutic. And, and it grew into something more, more spiritual. And I appreciated that. And I learned about a lot of things. Ancestral curses. I learned how to heal my childhood traumas. My heartache which was the biggie at the point, you know. And I tell people I spent 10 years in hell, pretty much. And so if I make it look easy, you weren't there behind the scenes when I was just in pain and misery. misery. <clears throat> and that's what the dark night's all about, right? If you survive it anyway. And I'm here to teach what I know, what I've learned. And I have no illusions about making money doing it either. That's not the point. And I think that people, they're spiritual that are making money off of other people's pain and misery is, you know, it's very suspect at best. I, I know there's a lot of really good tarot readers and guides and spiritual healers that are monetarily on YouTube, and that's fine. And they're doing good work, but there's a lot out there that are just cons. They're pushing out stuff that's unnecessary. Like I said, Minnow Pond Tarot is a really good example of a, a, a moralistic person who, who, if he reads a death card, he goes, he goes, one thing I think is irresponsible of anybody is to tell somebody they're going to die. That's just not, that's not your job. Your job is to spiritually uplift and help people grow as human beings, give them hope, not let them think they're going to die in a, in a minute, right? That's just complete bullshit. And he's right, and there's a lot of clickbait out there. Warning, warning, it's like, come on now. I wish I could just, you know, delete them from YouTube, but they're gonna be there regardless, right? YouTube has a funny way of allowing people to get away with all kinds of squirrely shit. And in the meantime, I get shadow banned just because of my disbelief in, you know, politics and governments, completely, all of them. I would never consider myself a Democrat or Republican or even an independent more Robin Hood or Zorro. I'm for the people, period, end of story. I give a shit about these scumbag politicians, all of them. They're all scum, I'm sorry to say. If you have a banner and you fly a sign and you believe in these people, I'm sorry, but they're all scum. It's true. God will reveal all these people in time. That's how it works. The universe is going to pull that shade out and they're going to be exposed and the cockroaches will run. But that's not your job. Your job is to glow. Your job is to shine bright. And my job now at this point, besides, you know, making money for myself, selling my art, doing what I got to do, is, you know, maybe teaching what I've learned. You know, like I said, I'm no healer. Well, I don't know. Maybe I am. Who knows? I can give a good hug. But my job at this point, as far as I know, is to be a guide. You know, my past videos, when I talk about Dark Knight of the Soul tips and things like that, I'm talking about your spirituality, I'm talking about your growth, and I'm not asking for any money. I don't want any money from you. 
The only thing I want from you is your dedication to yourself. I want you to love yourself so much that you fall in love with yourself and that anybody that comes in your presence is going to feel that love. They're going to feel the emperor and the empress in the room and they're not going to come to you with any nonsense. They're going to know better because you're not going to deal with that shit anymore. You're not going to deal with toxic family. You're not going to deal with toxic friends. You're going to heal. You're going to grow and you're going to love yourself and you're going to shine the light. And that's what this is all about. It's not about scaring the shit out of people or which is, they're doing a good enough job globally in that aspect. But my job and your job is just to shine bright, to glow, to rise above it. And I don't, like I said, I don't accept money from anybody. I might accept some money from a family me particular family member, but I trust them and I know that they know that, that it's going to come back to them. It's not something that's, like I've done in the past always when I've given money. It's always been a gift. I've never attached any I just knew better, right? Because you know how people are with money. So I would always give, especially when I couldn't afford it. And that was my, you know, my naivety. But I don't regret giving people money. I just re regret their actions afterwards. That would be the best way to put it. When you give somebody a thousand bucks as a friend, not asking for anything in return, maybe some friendship and some loyalty, and that gets, you know, shredded. <laughs> and you, it's like you paid a thousand bucks to find out who your friend is, right? It's a little expensive lesson, but it's important. My 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 list of friends are few. I can count them on one finger. <laughs> me, no, no. Okay, one hand maybe. I don't know. Maybe two. Who knows? I'm growing my community. I'm growing my my soul tribe. Put it that way. There are people that I adore and I like. I mean, they might not know it so much, but I subscribe to them, and yeah. And I want you to subscribe to me, like, <laughs> like and share. Really, share might be the only, you know, my, my only way out of this, you know, shadow banning that YouTube has done on me. But I don't know. So far, I haven't gotten really a lot of shares on this either. So who knows? Like I said, there's people that I can't read their comments when they comment on my videos. And I don't even know if they can like stuff. Because I know there's people that are banned, like, completely where you can't comment or like their videos. Like that Tommy Robinson guy, they just they just trashed that dude completely, and yeah, so he wasn't able to even get. He didn't even know if people was, were watching this thing, and that's kind of like my situation. I don't even know if people are watching my videos half the time, but like especially when I'll get people comment commenting on a video, and yet the video shows zero likes. So yeah, I guess that's some fuckery going on. But I'm gonna vibrate high. I'm gonna keep selling my art. I'm gonna keep traveling and finding places to stay for free and hopefully I can let other people know about those places and give them you know ports of safe harbor where they can rest and recuperate during the madness of this world but yeah just keep going keep loving yourself keep learning to love yourself stay away from toxic human beings I know you gotta work a lot of times people gotta work around other people and I feel so bad for you I mean like Things are pretty thin for me, right? But at the same time, I'm blessed with everything I got. And I have my own schedule, and I'm my own boss, and I don't have to work around any toxic human beings that come in and just vomit all their crap on you. And you're like, oh, no, I gotta go home and take a shower. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, psychically, or energetically. But yeah, those people are, you're in it. God bless you. When you get off work, go home, take a salt bath, and burn some incense, and like I said, the only thing I recommend is smoking weed, marijuana, period. I don't recommend pills. I don't recommend alcohol. I don't recommend anything else. Nothing else. Peyote, I don't recommend any of that shit. Ayahuasca, none of that crap. If you really need to relax, smoke weed. Smoke a joint when you get off work. That's about it. That's it. I mean, I wouldn't Rastafari in that shit all day. Come on now. You got you to gotta have a life. Even I, even I, in my moments, you know, find myself smoking more than I should, but that's not a problem at the moment because I don't have any but <clears throat> but I still have some ibuprofen which helps in my back so you know you take what you can right but like I said I want you to focus on yourself focus on healing yourself because there's a lot of healing that needs to be done and if I can help out in any way I will yeah my suffering will be your salvation who knows <laughs> I don't know like I said I've been through it and <clears throat> when I speak it's usually pretty honest pretty truthful 
So I'm not trying to get somebody to love themselves so I can get in on it. You know what I mean? I just want them to be happy. Can imagine just wanting the world to be happy. Hmm. How terrible is that? Anyway. I'll let you go. I'm still disappointed about the last video. It was so good. Probably missed out on a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go down and sell my art today. I'm going to fly a new sign instead of the Too Ugly to Prostitute, Too Honest for Politics. This time it's going to be Future Antique Roadhouse Aha Moments. Only 40 bucks a pop. <laughs> we'll see. I know. Cheap and easy, right? Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is really digging you. Digging your growth, digging your self love, and don't give up. Keep fighting, keep taking those baby steps, and you'll win. You'll get it. Okay? Love you. Have a wonderful day.